having a clue. Hello everybody, it's Tom here. I hope you're well. I want to talk today about how sometimes we don't have a first clue about anything and how that's all right. We shouldn't be ashamed for not having the answer. And this is true of life, this is true of anything, okay? Sometimes we just don't know how to progress, how to move forward and this is where perhaps we can seek the help of others with no sort of shame. Anyway, to cut a long story short, as you know, I've recently started a new job and with that position becomes a little bit more, well, I feel like I'm sort of uh, moving up a little bit, should I say. So I've been given a company laptop, I've been given a company mobile phone. I'm not a manager as such, but I am in a senior position. So with being in a senior position, uh, I am recognised by those I work with that I should have probably more answers, shall we say, than, than the average person who works there. I've been bought in for my experience and my expertise in this particular field. So basically, in a nutshell, the other day I was given a company mobile. First time I've ever been in a position where I've been given a company mobile. I've never been perhaps important enough to ever have something like this or considered in a level of seniority where I would have this as, as something. So they gave me an iPhone. I'll be straight with you. I'm an Android user. I'm not an iPhone user. Nothing against anyone that is an iPhone user. Um, it's a very different animal to an Android. Uh, very different in the, the way that you work it and set it up. So I've uh, done my best to try and set up the phone and I was having a few technical issues. Uh, one of my colleagues used to work for Apple, used to sell phones. She was in the technical department. She was really good on the, the phone and she offered to help. I didn't ask her. She offered. Okay, she offered. She gave me some advice. And between us, we struggled through trying to sort of set the phone up. And um, after initial help, she started laughing at me for not having a clue what I was doing. Now, even if this is meant in sort of uh, banter, it's a little unfair, really. If somebody comes to you for help and generally needs your guidance, I think the worst thing you can do is laugh at somebody, okay, and mock them for not knowing what they're doing. Because at the end of the day, I don't work in IT. I am not a technically minded guy. Don't get me wrong, years ago I used to work, I used to follow a very technical course that in films and animation studies. I, I've got a degree in film and animation. So I understand what it is to use complicated software and systems. However, it's a long time since I was in that. And not only that, a lot of you will agree with me here. Technology is moving at such a rate that it is virtually impossible to keep up. I wouldn't say I'm a complete novice where technology is concerned. As I said, I've, I've dealt with certain things and I do okay. But then again, I wouldn't say I'm expert level either. And I think being an expert in anything technological these days is very hard. You've literally got to be learning every two minutes because things are moving and changing at a rate that um, it's almost impossible to keep up. So, while she may have jokingly meant just between me and her, uh, you know, that I was out of my depth, laughing is not going to help, you know. I appreciate her taking the time to try and help me, but uh, to suggest that I don't know what I'm doing and I'm stupid is not really a constructive thing, you know. It's a little bit mean, really, a little bit out of order. But anyway, upshot was, after asking her to help me, between the two of us we managed to get the phone set up and then on uh, Thursday night I got the phone set up and uh, now I'm a fully operating, got a mobile phone, a company mobile, I can get my work emails to it, I'm able to use it for what I need to, 
and uh, yeah it's appearing on the bottom of my email under my name so it's all good but to suggest somebody is not with it not hip not down with the kids no i'm not and i'm not by choice to be honest with you i've it's not a case of being disconnected it's a case of as i said things are moving at a rate that is too quick even for me to keep up with um and unless you are moving in those circles how can you possibly keep up and even then it's a struggle i would say i'll never forget years ago somebody who was on my course uh, was gone into like coding using code to make animated films and uh, i thought that's all well and good but by the time you've learned it a new code comes out and it's out of date so you're constantly having to remind and revise yourself uh, make adjustments it's just the nature of the beast i guess anyway first of three videos this week i want to say thank you all ever so much for listening i really appreciate your time and energy spent here on my channel thank you kindly first of three as i said please put down in the comment section below have you ever been shamed for not having the answer at the end of the day we can't all be experts we can't always know how to get from a to b or from c to d whatever sometimes we do need other people's uh, input and help advice and we should be trying to help each other instead of laughing at each other if somebody came to me and wanting help i wouldn't laugh at them i'd be very patient i believe that that is the best way you can't let that person feel bad about the fact they don't have the answer to the question it's not it's not always the way yeah please 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 if you would i'd be really grateful consider hitting that subscribe button down below i'd also be very grateful if you consider giving me a thumbs up and a like and let's hear that bell sign go ding dong when you so you know when the next content's out i'll be back in a couple of days with another video but until then please take care of yourselves and bye for now